Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Das Place City Skylines where we have just zoomed into the heart of um, High Rise Park. Um, the previous episode we um, upgraded some roads and um, yeah, so we upgraded the main road coming in, we upgraded the main road going through High Rise Park um, and the highway connection on this side. Um, and what's interesting to me is we still have traffic of 93%. Um, it might be our um, uh, subways um, alleviating some of the traffic, but it's still going good and still going strong. So I'm very happy about that. So um, let's have a look at what our city needs. So over here, the natural resources has run out. Um, and we'll have a look at what Maynard Corporation actually needs. So they can mine out this mountain over here and that over there, as well as this part over there. Um, the oil industry is also um, almost done, um, extracting all the oil from the area. So we'll break down the rock and mine uh, or extract some more out of there. This one will be moved over to that side. This one will be moved over there just to get the um, electrical benefit. All right, so there we go. Um, we've moved that around just to get some more oil extracted. And on this side, we can start chopping away at this mountain. We will need some more um, areas to dump our uh, soil. So we'll dump it on this side over there. Um, Oh wait, that's oil over there, right? So let's let's dump it on this side. So we'll extend this road out a ways. Let's just make sure our road guidelines are on. So let's extend this out towards the highway and get it across like that. Um, can maybe bring it out a little bit more so we can connect up to our other roads next door. Okay, so just do it that way and then we can start excavating um, to get the production plants going again. So I'll come over here, grab a strong brush. Um, oh wait, first we have to dump all the soil we already have in our um, inventory or well, soil storage. So let's go dump the soil. And there we go, we have everything dumped out. Now this is going to go fairly quickly. Uh, um, it's going <laughs> to fill up our storage and we come out and we dump the soil again. Um, yeah, and then, wait, sorry, it's not fully dumped. Let's dump it. And then we we'll grab it again and just grab it like that and then we'll dump it on the side again there we go oh well that's not enough um, let's dump it on the side over here that's outside the lake I'm running out of space to dump the soil um, okay so let's level this out some more and go dump some more and we can dump on these areas here as well to make it look like it's actually a dumping ground there we go and then we chop out some more of this area and then we go dump the soil again and uh, so we'll probably rehabilitate um, the land once we're done with it. Um, we don't have an idea yet for how to do that, but we will eventually um, find a way. Okay, um, let's have a look at our resources. Oh, that should sustain us for a while. Let's dump the soil. Um, this one can go a bit higher, that one can go a bit higher, this one can go a lot higher as well as this one at the back, that's not even filled up completely. Okay, 
so let's move his things around so we'll bring that road out there road guidelines are on we'll just bring it straight out to about there um, we'll move this one over to this side that one we'll move over here and um, let's get an all processing plants on this side as well so what do we call that that's the processing building it is this um, all grinding mill we'll have it right next day right next door um, this guy has lost his power so try and get him somehow to start working again um okay now that's all right we'll just bring him over as well and then we'll connect up our water and we'll come bring power from the substation over to our new um, working area once again that's a funny looking substation but i quite like it so now we'll put some fencing around it as per normal turn our road guidelines off on this it is off there we go and then we'll put some dirt path inside just that everybody knows that they are servicing the um the area we'll pop this one down here as well oh really no more oh, okay so they have to extract it and then they go this one is finished extracting there's no more ore left on at all on this side let's see on this side oh, it's happy there okay so we're extracting more and more ore as we go so they've done quite a lot of work inside here it's pretty funny carved away at that mountain okay so that side is done um, we can get rid of most of these smaller oil um, pumps there we go there we go that's done um, what else can we do it's all electrical and water supplies look like our electrical supply is dwindling slightly so I think we'll just put we can't fit another oil in there but we can fit oil power plant on this side so the reason why we don't build substation on either side is because there's cables running out to these substations over here and that transfers the power out to our um, residential commercial and all these areas now for some reason we have a lot of crime in here and we have trash on this one this is the first time I've ever seen this okay so let's just get rid of this road and that road and we'll just put a nice path in here this resembles the um, and that fixes it so apparently if you have a road something on a road then it can gather <laughs> some trash and so forth okay so that is done there we we'll want to put a nice little uh, sports center there once we've cut away the mountain or most of it um, but I think for now let us focus on the task at hand so after a lot of deliberation they've been thinking and they have played around with the idea with getting a railroad but unfortunately we have a lot of um, <laughs> soil dump sites on this area um, and to get this to get it past here the railroad that's going to be a struggle but if we can get it past and bring it down all the way um, get it into uh, Winox Industrial Park we'll see what we can do to um, arrange that and we can then also bring it along the highway um, uh, into Mason Town 
to get the Manhub Oil Corporation things going and we can also alleviate some of the traffic from uh, our forestry area. But Mr. Lawson and Mason are very skeptical of how that will be accomplished. It is uh, the risk of damaging the city's reputation, it is the risk of damaging the city's uh, uh, motorways and uh, just just the overall just of how the city operates. So for the moment being, we'll continue with Mr. Blumar's um, roundabout villages. All right. So we'll connect up this road. First of all, we'll just connect it up here. Have a nice connection there, and then they want to meet up with this um, roundabout over there and we'll have the rest of the city flanking and coming around there eventually all right so let's get this going so it will just be a nice curve like that and uh, we'll see how that turns out and um, this road will probably also be upgraded um, later on into a highway um, but for the moment it's fine, it, it's doing fine. Okay, so let's do the same we did there. Is our road guidelines on? No, it's not. All right, so this I wanna be slightly different. I'm gonna come up one and a half to there and then that is, is that 10 tiles? No, it's not, there's our 10 tile mark. I'll come over to there, come over to there, and then we'll connect up to there, to there, and like so, and like so. And then we'll bring this out, another tile, this out another tile, this out another tile, and then we connect up those ones. Um, Now, and this one will then connect up with this road over here. So the circles themselves are overlapping, um, and that's what we wanted to do. And Mr. Blumar is a very interesting man, and he has interesting design ideas for his um, neighborhoods. Okay, so that is the outside circle, this is the inside circle, and we'll do relief these two roads over here and that one out there. Right, and now we can put our pathways in there. Oh wait, we want to upgrade this road, don't we? I don't want to forget about that. All right, so let's do our uh, uh, walkways and get them going. So in this one we'll have all the inside um, walkways done but there'll only be these ones on the outside so that's the outside this is the inside um, one is busier than the other now the reason why they don't have any um, fences along here is they like living on the edge and freedom and so forth they like to do their own thing the people coming to stay here. So we'll just get a few shops going. Oh wait, before we do that, let's just mark this out. I call this Spherington. And then we'll get our policies. So then we'll smoke this dis distribution, uh, recycling, smoking ban, um, and then city planning will be high res ban. And then we'll have the uh, the zoning sector, organic and local produce, as well as self-sufficient buildings. All right. So then we can continue with our zoning. We forgot about water again. Every time Captain Blue Mason is involved, he forgets about the water. Him and Blue Mar, after so many years doing this, they still haven't figured out that they need water and electricity at their neighborhoods. Okay, 
so let's continue zoning and this one will have a public school in the center so that will be this community school and that will be right there and they will have Institute of Creative Arts outside so let's just zone this and all of a sudden everybody's happy oh and there Academy forgot that you just you can't just have uh, pumps just around like that um, and we also need some more water so let's go over to our dam and we've lost electricity because we have too much um, too much oh this is why we need a ring circuit this is exactly why we need a ring circuit our whole town is going without water because we didn't have a ring circuit okay so let's just complete this ring and take it around there um, over to there down here and into our substation okay so now we know that if lightning strikes here it won't damage our water supply to the city and once again this place is on fire and do we have a firehouse here no we don't we should actually have one here all industries require firehouses and everything is on fire even in the rain oh that is bad anyway so let's have that fire truck sort that out and we'll come over here and finish our zoning um, so we'll just pop down our um, residentials um, that one will extend out to the road there we go and then we'll finish our zoning now we have some commercial need as well and that I think will be done within High Rise Park actually we need to place a park for these people, a dog park get these people happy um, and let us now do some commercial zoning now the commercial zone will be done along this side here the high density so we have officers officers ringing them and they'll be in the center of the offices okay so let's get started doing that um, so we'll come out of this road over here and we'll unfortunately have to destroy this rock but that's fine and um, so I want to change up the grid over here and do it this way around there we go that looks all right so we'll have the the uh, commercial in the center oh no we've actually lost students at our campus we'll have to go have a look at that um, okay so we'll have our commercial in the center with a nice uh, little um, one of these plaza with the picnic tables and that'll be there um, and we'll need water as well turn off road guidelines for this so we'll bring that around and connect up and connect up and connect up and then we'll put our high density commercial well, we'll uh, pop it down like that and have our our industrial our offices just ring it just like that so just ever so slightly just to keep the noise away from our residents and uh, yeah Mr. Mason um, Mr. Catenby Mason is happy to do this for the people um, he loves building high rises and he loves seeing it develop so um, we'll call this one uh, 
getting these finest or something of the sort something he is proud of so let's have a think let's have a thought what can we call this um that'll be the cat and be um center or yeah let's just call cat and be center really oh the police station is all the way on the other side so maybe let's have a police station a fire station on this edge here just to um, help with our um, people coming to the park just so that they feel safe and over here um, so we didn't lose all of our things we just lost a small uh, log small log yard that's all we lost here so that's good and we replace that and I'm thinking this looks good so we'll have to have a railway station sometime and that'll have to come around to Wernox Industrial um, and how we get there is going to be a mission um, it'll <coughs> depending on the traffic and all that because we cannot go through the city from here the city has advanced to too big come too big and um, the only real place that this can come through is over here and we'll, we'll have to sort of do the same thing we did here come over this road and then just hug this road all the way around um, and over here we'll have to go over the road and we want to change this into a sort of intersection in the future where you can um, come over I see there's not a lot of traffic coming in from the side so let's just <laughs> let's just imagine it's a yield sign so that people can go through and do their thing um, over here by Mason Town everything is still looking great we've got level 4 houses our um, fire trucks are doing their jobs and everybody is still enjoying life and I must say this this isn't damaging our, our um, road networks all that much let's have a look at our campus area info we've got enough academic works we just don't have enough students um, but that is fine let's just uh, give a grant and then we have free lunch and student healthcare and visiting scholars or interesting sadness because no income from campus tuition fees oh no we can't do this um, Increase faculty bonus plus 25 percent cost increase faculty bonus. Free lunch is one dollar per student. Free healthcare by the campus. Increase student health cost campus up cost by five cents per student. Yeah, we'll have a look. We'll just have a look at our income there. If that drops below a certain point, actually, you know, let's leave that off. Yeah, because that is going to completely destroy our budget now um what else can we do with our city um at this point now it's something that we can buy new land and that we can most definitely do so crime rate is high over here still still high and how is the police going to get here and why is it high park restroom just move it and see if that changes it maybe it's feels like it's coming off of the wrong road or something okay <sighs> but it's expected it's a block and just look at how this is filling in it's filling in quite nicely so at the moment we've put down Sphinxton we've did cat in the corner we expanded main on corporations mining operations and we um, relocated some of the oil drills in Maynard oil company um that'll be it for this episode um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time